Okay, so the last thing I want to do before I move on is um, give you an example of uh, calculating stress in a slightly more complex um, soil profile. Um, and this is maybe a typical exam question that you might get. Um, so let's say we have a soil profile that looks like this. So we have a ground surface, and underneath it we have four meters of sand, four meters of clay, and, um, and some uh, gravel. Um, and let's say we know the unit weight of each of these layers. So um, we have a water table that's one meter below the ground, and the sand below that, uh, above that water table, has a unit weight of 19 kilonewtons per meter cubed. Um, let's say the unit weight below that water table is 20 kilonewtons per meter cubed. Uh, the clay has a unit weight of 22, and the gravel 25 kilonewtons per meter cubed. Now, we might be interested in trying to work out what the um, the stress is within this gravel, and let's say we're trying to work out the stress two meters below the top of this gravel. So what is the stress conditions here? Well, let's first of all start with the total stress. Now the total stress we can calculate by um, taking the unit weight of the soil and multiplying it by its depth. But how do we deal with that if we've got different unit weights? Well, what we can do is just sum the individual contributions of each of these layers. So we can find the, uh, uh, the contribution of stress from this layer, add it to this layer, and add it to this layer, and we'll be able to find what the stress conditions are at this point. So for the total stress, we can take the, the, the dry sand above the water table um, and treat that as a, a single layer. So we take the unit weight of that sand and we multiply it by its thickness, so 19 multiplied by 1. And then the sand below the water table we treat as a separate layer, and we have 20 and multiply it by its thickness, which is 3. So we can then take the clay layer, um, and it has a unit weight of 22, and we multiply that by its thickness, which is 4. And then finally, if we're going two meters into the gravel, we take the unit weight and we multiply that by two. And if we um, add all, all of those together, we'll find the total stress at the, this point down here, which comes out to be 217 kilonewtons per meter squared. Okay. So we found the total stress. What about the water pressure at this point here? We want to know what the pore water pressure is here. How do we work that one out? Well, all we have to do is take the unit weight of water and multiply um, that by the depth uh, to which our point is below the water table. So our water table is here, um, our point of interest is here, and we just multiply that depth by the unit weight of water. So our pore water pressure is equal to 10 multiplied by this point's depth below the water table, which is 3 plus 4 plus 2. Um, and that comes out to be 90 kilonewtons per meter squared. Okay, so the last thing we need to work out is the effect of stress. So the effect of stress is equal to the total stress minus the pore water pressure, which equals 217 minus 90, which equals 128 kilonewtons per meter squared. And while that sort of initially might have looked like quite a complex um, problem, it really is uh, uh, not too difficult to solve if you follow these, these sequential steps.